More than two years after a Boston police officer died and his body was found outside of a Canton front yard during a snowstorm in 2022, his girlfriend's trial is set to begin. Jury selection is now underway in Dedham in the case against Karen Reed. Prosecutors allege she hit John O'Keefe with her car and then left him to die following an alleged night out drinking together. Several are supporting the defendant and her lawyer's argument that she is being framed. 12 News reporter Sheena Loshuto is live for us in front of the courthouse and Sheena demonstrators showed up in full force once again. Dozens of people were just surrounding the courthouse here today. This is much different than what you would see for your average court case. And if you were here with the purpose of being seen and heard and really showing where you stand with this case, a judge ordered that you had to stay at least 200 feet away from the building and local police were here to enforce that. 43 year old Karen Reed of Mansfield is accused of killing her boyfriend, Boston police officer John O'Keefe in 2022. Previously pleading not guilty to her charges, including second degree murder. She walks out of Superior Court Tuesday. I think the first day went. Good progress. As lawyers continue looking to handpick the jury that will decide her fate. The prosecution accuses her of hitting her boyfriend with her car in Canton, then leaving him to die on a cold, snowy January night. However, the defense says Reed is being framed in a cover-up scheme, arguing that O'Keefe was beat up inside the home where he was found and then left outside. Um, I think this is absolutely corrupt. All things are pointing to corruption going up through a lot of levels, and we're just trying to figure out where, where it stops. The case and the arguments have caught the attention of many. So much so, demonstrators have routinely come out to support Reed. The judge presiding over the case has issued a buffer zone, banning people, for example, with signs or megaphones to be within 200 feet of the courthouse. But they still showed up, some only fueled by the order. We're still here showing support. If anything, you only made us bigger. We got our hands on court documents that list the 87 witnesses the state has identified. The defense is entitled to question anyone called up by the Commonwealth, but submitted their own lengthy witness list, naming 77 people. And one thing is for sure tonight. Demonstrators say they believe there is much more to the story and they're hoping that will come to light during the trial, which state officials say will likely take weeks. Jury selection here continues tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Dedham tonight, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.